So you're thinking about moving to Rogers, Arkansas, and you're trying to figure out what are some of the neighborhoods look like and what might be of interest to me? Well, my friend, today I'm going to deliver to you five neighborhoods inside of Rogers, some in Bentonville School District, some in Rogers School District that might be of interest to you. And in no particular order, let's go check out those neighborhoods. First on our list is Hearthstone Neighborhood. This neighborhood with sidewalks on both sides, individual mailboxes, many full brick or stone homes. There's around 250 homes in this neighborhood. Average acre size is 0.22 acres. The average home in this neighborhood was built in 2008 and is a four bed, three bath, 2,600 square foot home on average. The neighborhood association is $500 a year, which goes towards the neighborhood pool, pavilion, and playground areas. At the time of filming, Hearthstone's neighborhood pool is getting a facelift, so we weren't able to go in and check out that 100% for you, unfortunately. Although located in Rogers, Arkansas, Hearthstone is served by Bentonville School District. The elementary that goes to Hearthstone is Central Park Elementary, Brightfield Middle School, Fulbright Junior High, and Bentonville High School. Now there are two high schools in Bentonville and this would be going to what would be considered Bentonville East or Bentonville Tigers. In regards to availability in this neighborhood, there were 22 homes listed in 2020. In 2021, there were 16 homes. And in 2022, there were 10 homes. Hearthstone neighborhood is located in a fairly close proximity to the Pinnacle Hills area with multiple shops, Walmart Amp, as well as lots of restaurants and activities to do. The average home as of recently sold anywhere from around 460 to $500,000. Next on our list is Warren Glen neighborhood. Warren Glen has a total of 110 homes built between 2006 and 2013. The average size home is a four bed, four bath, just over 3,200 square feet. The average lot size is 0.27 acres. Warren Glen is served by Rogers School System. Elementary school is Bellevue Elementary right around the corner. Kirksey Middle School, and Rogers High School. The neighborhood offers its own park and pool as well as basketball court. The Property Owners Association fee is $500 per year. In regards to turnover, there were nine homes listed in 2020, seven in 2021, and there were 10 homes that were listed in 2022. As of late, the average sale price of a home in Warren Glen was around $575,000. The next neighborhood on our list, my friends, is Shadow Valley neighborhood. Now, this one is actually a private gated community to which I cannot do any recording on the inside of. Shadow Valley neighborhood has over 650 homes and they're continuing to build. I believe there are 11 phases now of Shadow Valley. The average lot size is around a quarter of an acre. In 2020, there were 88 homes that were sold. 2021, there were 107. In 2022, there were 86 homes that were sold. And again, like I said, they're continuing to build more homes. This neighborhood has association dues anywhere from $150 a month to over $500 a month, depending on the type of membership you have. You may have just a social membership to have access to their 40,000 square foot clubhouse, pool, tennis courts, basketball courts, or you may have a golf membership that allows you to go and play golf. I'm not sure how often, but allows you to go play on their private 18 hole course. The schools that serve Shadow Valley are part of the Bentonville School District, although the neighborhood is located in Rogers, Arkansas. The elementary school that serves Shadow Valley is Central Park Elementary. Middle school is Brightfield Middle. Junior high is Fulbright. And the high school is Bentonville High School. Double check, as always, the school website to make sure there hasn't been any rezoning. As of 2023, 2024, there may be some changing in the school zoning. The average size of home in Shadow Valley is a four bed, four bath, 3174 square foot home. And because there's such a range of homes, anywhere from 
townhome condo style to garden home to large 8,000 square foot homes in Shadow Valley. The range of homes as of recent was anywhere from 475,000 to around 1.6 million. Next on our list is Cross Creek Subdivision. There are a total of 163 homes in here, built anywhere from 2004 to 2018. The average size home is a four bed, three bath, just over 2,900 square feet on about a quarter of an acre. Cross Creek is served by Rogers School District with Dar Elementary, Elmwood Middle School, and Rogers High School. As of late, the turnover in the neighborhood, there were 28 listings in 2020, 22 listings in 2021, and in 2022. Recent sales show that homes in here are averaging between $550,000 to $600,000. Cross Creek does have an HOA that supports their basketball court, soccer fields, paths, all the mowing and maintenance that is included in that, as well as their pool area for its residents. There is a range of HOA fees anywhere from around $780 to $1,800, depending on where you end up in Cross Creek. Some of the homes in here have more of a maintenance-free option to where somebody else is taking care of some of the outside maintenance. This neighborhood is conveniently located off of Bellevue Road with easy access down 264, and of course over to Highway 49, the major corridor in Northwest Arkansas. Last but not least is Silo Falls. Silo Falls neighborhood has 188 homes the average lot size is 2.8 acres. Homes in Silo Falls were built between 2006 and 2022. The average sized home is a four bed, four bath, and 3340 square feet. In regards to turnover, there were eight homes listed in 2020, 13 homes listed in 2021, and 12 homes listed in 2022. Rogers Schools serves Silo Falls neighborhood with Dar Elementary, Elmwood Middle School, and Rogers High School. As you see, the neighborhood has a pool, park, pavilion, and is extremely close to the Razorback Greenway just outside of the neighborhood. The Property Owners Association is $450 a year. As of late, the average sale of a home in Silo Falls is around $645,000. Thank you for allowing me to take you around to some of Rogers' premier neighborhoods. As always, now you know a little bit more about what life is like in and around Bentonville. Thanks for watching.